So what can you do with an exercise science degree? Maybe you're contemplating, I should be an exercise science major, or I am. What can I do with that? If you're in that case, watch this video. Yeah, this one one shot, now the future is yours. <laughs> Turning dreams into reality in the the So if you're watching this video, you're probably an exercise science degree major or you're thinking about becoming one and you're like, what can I do with that degree? I don't know what I can do. Do I just apply to PT or PTA school or just like, what's, what's the deal? Can I do anything with that degree? Well, let's talk about it in this video. So we're gonna break these uh, sections or these, I guess, jobs or careers into different categories, all right? So the first category is gonna be um, exercise science careers or things you can do with that major that don't require a degree necessarily. All right, next one is exercise science careers uh, that may require a bachelor's degree, okay? And the last one is exercise science career that require like a master's or doctorate level. So if you wanna go into that category, then your exercise science degree or your major in that is going to be used as a prerequisite for the next step, okay? So that's how we're gonna break this up going forward. All right, so let's circle back to number one, uh, exercise science careers or things related to that that don't necessarily need your exercise science degree. So you might have it, come out with it, graduate with it and be like, I didn't even need this exercise science degree or a bachelor's degree in general to do this, all right? so. Um, these things can be like uh, things like personal training, uh, being an aerobics instructor, group fitness coach, a gym manager, massage therapist, uh, physical therapist assistant as well. Uh, you don't need your bachelor's degree to become a physical therapist assistant or an OTA um, or a CNA, I believe as well. Um, so the assistant level like that, most of them you don't need your bachelor's degree. Okay, so, so keep that in mind. Those are some things you can start uh, thinking about. Uh, next category, exercise science careers that require bachelor's degrees or usually require them, all right? So uh, things like being an athletic director for like a high school or the college level. So being basically the manager or director of all the sports going on. So of course, high school, college, you have your tennis team, you got your bas uh, basketball team, you got your football, baseball, all that stuff. So being the director of athletics at that institution, JUCO, uh, division one, high school, whatever, right? So that's an athletic director position. They might want you to have your bachelor's degree. Um, next is a community program director, like a parks and recs director. If you're in charge of the community program, whether it's outside athletics or indoor athletics in the wintertime, if you're in a cold place, uh, things like that being a community kind of athletics or sports director for the town, not necessarily, um, not necessarily a, a school institution, but for the town, you, they might want you or prefer uh, you to have a bachelor's degree. Uh, next being a kinesiologist. I'll probably do another video on what you can do with a kinesiology degree. It might be similar, but uh, you can be a kinesiologist as well. Uh, next, um, an athletic trainer. Now this is changing, so keep that in mind. Uh, athletic trainers uh, with their degree, I believe it's a master's degree, maybe, maybe moving to a doctorate degree. So uh, we might be in between that stage at the time of this video, so, so keep that in mind. Uh, but an athletic trainer, you might need your bachelor's degree to apply to a master's program uh, as well. So next, physical education teacher, so a PE teacher. Um, uh, then next, uh, registered nurse, they need their bachelor's degree. So if you have um, your exercise science degree, then you apply to nursing school and or you're registered, specifically being to be a registered nurse, uh, you would need your bachelor's degree uh, from what I understand. And next, if you wanna be a sports coach, maybe they might require a bachelor's degree um, or a sports facility manager. Um, or a strength and conditioning coach. That one, you probably don't need your bachelor's degree, but some facilities where you work at, they might prefer it. So that last one could be between the top and bottom levels as well, all right? So keep that in mind. Um, then lastly, if you're going to the next level um, of programs that need a master's or are a master's program or a doctorate level program, um, you'll have to keep in mind that an exercise science degree is more of a prereq to apply to med school or apply to PT school. So um, usually people with exercise science uh, degrees apply to med school or apply to like chiropractor school or being a registered dietitian. 
or OT school, of course, physical therapy school to be a physician's assistant um, or get into like physical rehabilitation in any other sense like that. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. But those were three different categories. And yes, of course, some of them overlapped uh, to each category, especially if different degrees are moving in different directions. They might overlap a little bit, but those are just things for you to think of, of what you can do with your exercise science degree. All right, those three different categories. Number one, careers that don't require a degree. Next, careers with exercise science that uh, require a bachelor's, then different careers that require a master's or doctorate level, and you're using that bachelor's degree to apply to those programs, all right? So those are the big things. Then lastly, even if you have your bachelor's degree in exercise science, I want you to keep in mind that you can do something else. A bachelor's degree is just a bachelor's degree. Oh, let me throw this in there as well. I get a lot of questions about a BA versus a BS. It doesn't matter. You'll be fine, especially if you want to apply to physical therapy school, you can apply with either. All right. But going back to my point, if you have a bachelor's degree, you still have that degree, whether it's communications, exercise science, kinesiology, music, business, and you want to go into something else and you want to be a manager for waste management, the, the garbage company, or you want to be in corporate management, or you want to go a completely different direction and do something in HR or administration, you still have your bachelor's degree, all right? And if they require that, you still have a bachelor's degree. It just happens to be in exercise science. So I don't want you to be stuck in the mindset of, oh, I only have these options. These are just options that are associated with health science, fitness, and all that stuff. That is only one lane. There is a whole world out here if you ever choose to change your mind. So just keep that in mind because a lot of people get stuck in that lane um, with whatever their major is. All right. So keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope that gave you some things to think about. Like, subscribe, share um, and drop anything that uh, I missed or messed up below or anything you want to clarify or any questions you have or uh, what you plan on doing with your exercise science degree. Uh, so if you are new, welcome to Pre-PT Grind. My name is Casey. I'm a physical therapist and the co-founder of Pre-PT Grind. Take a look around at the videos we have. Hit the links below because we help thousands of uh, physical therapists, students, or, or pre-PTs, pre-PTAs, uh, even PT students as well uh, with all the things that they're going through. So if you enjoyed this video, click around and welcome to our world.